As you all know, I did a video recently on how Gran Turismo Sports Daily Roulette is most likely rigged, and the only people who know exactly how it's rigged, if it's rigged, blah blah blah, is PD themselves. And well, I have my own opinions on that and stuff, but that leads into this video, because last video I said how the Daily Roulette being rigged affects future Gran Turismos, but I also said I may do a video how, in general, stuff is going to affect this Gran Turismo. And, well, here we are. PD's the only ones who knows the true feature, future of Gran Turismo games. And some of the stuff may not be exactly known, but can be interpretive. Interpreted, whatever. But some stuff for GG Sport in the future is already known. I will go over that here because, well, I said I would. And I will go over some stuff that will most likely happen in Gran Turismo as well. Because, well, let's just get into it and go from there. I will explain myself as we go. But to begin with, this is downright confirmed. GG Sport will be having Formula E cars at some point in the future. So not exactly known when. But it is known because, well, the Gran Turismo founder confirmed it. That's pretty good when the founder confirmed something that I think that means it's completely true. So there, there you go. There's a thread on GT Planet, which I will link in the description, that has an article. Like the article itself, a link. There is a thread talking about it, but I'll link the article because that's just more straightforward. But, anyway, that's confirmed. There's not too much more to talk about there. There's an article attached to it, but this is basically all we need to know for now, because there's no dates confirmed. There's no tracks confirmed that go along with it. There's no exact specifications of the Formula E stuff, blah, blah, blah. So let's move into something that y'all will probably consider a whole heck of a heap more exciting, because, well, it's going to happen early next year, and that's pretty much is confirmed. And it's something that a whole heck of a heap of y'all been wanting more than Formula E. Formula E's a nice addition on all that, but, well, there's this, folks. I was trying to hurry it up to this point in general, and this seems kind of general, doesn't it? But I will say this. We never have said earlier in the video of the founder or something saying it's probably going to make it true. Well, the previous one was the founder of Gran Turismo. This is the founder of the Gran Turismo fan website. Eh, well, there's this whole thing to begin with. It's always good to be extremely skeptical of news or rumors that emerge from YouTube videos, or anywhere. I would preface this by saying, a whole heck of a heap of YouTube videos that I make involving news or rumors is stuff they get from GT Planet, honestly. And, I've said in the past too, I'm only going to make videos that I think are either true or entertaining, and if it's meant for entertainment, I'll generally not even attempt to make it sound like truth. Unless it's like April Fool's or something obvious. And a video before they've gotten information from GT Planet. A lot of people liked and got really popular. The Burnout Paradise thing. The whole it coming out. I was able to figure that out a day before it was officially released. And the Crew 2 stuff. But so it's figured out a whole heck of a heap of its information like a few months before its information was released. The burnout video got a whole heck of a heap of likes because, well, I was pretty much proven immediately correct with that. Or GT Planet was pretty much proven immediately correct with it. Kind of, sort of, both. The Crew 2 one, well, I got like an 80% dislike video on that. But, or dislike racing on that video. But, I was proven to be completely correct. So, uh, now it's preference into this before there's a whole heck of a heap of huge arguments going on because... I think between all of the things considered, we can trust this. I ain't gonna make a video lying. I wouldn't think the founder of GG Planet would make a video, uh, post saying that a video would be lying. And well, here's the person who made the video. In this case, though, I'd recommend going easy on key one, or key 25. I think K-I-E means key. But y'all may recognize that name as well. That name is from a pretty cop and pig and big Grand Turismo YouTuber. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it makes money on the videos, and I don't really think I would want to lie to the viewers because, well, they might not come back, so that would be less money in the future. So, that makes logical sense that this person will make a trustworthy video, and it would make logical sense for this person to say something trustworthy as well on their own site. And in general, I'm going to make videos that are at least looking like they're going to be trustworthy. 
So, well, what is all this about, then? Spa is coming. Officially. To Gran Turismo Sport. Early next year. Yes, the track we've all been wanting for a whole heck of a heap of time. Spa. De, De La Franco champs or whatever. But the one word that we can pronounce in that is Spa. So that's the one we say. Is coming. Hallelujah! I mean, yes, I'm excited for it. I'm excited more for the hype that it makes of the community. Because honestly, there's more tracks than that I've won too. And more tracks I've won more immediately than that. But I know that was sort of the one that the bulk of the community said they wanted first. So, I mean, there we go. We're getting it, and it's coming early next year. I'm going to link the, the GT Planet general discussion thread in here. And maybe more than anything, I'll just link that YouTube video in here. That's probably what I'll do, because ultimately that's what it leads to. And then y'all can do your own research beyond that, too, depending on what side you want to take. But I'm taking the side for the YouTube video, which I will link. So anyway, on to the next stuff that ain't necessarily downright confirmed. Or looking like it may as well be confirmed. Just stuff that's sort of obvious that would be coming in the future. Because of stuff that's already happened and stuff that I don't see why wouldn't happen. There's no particular thing to sew with this like how I'm sewing the actual picture of the post from the previous thing that I said. Or I sew some of the article from the first thing that I said. But I want to go ahead and leave this bit from this post on here. Because, yeah, it's good to be skeptical and all that. But, sometimes it's good to go with the recommendations. So that's pretty much what I'm saying of what I'm going to be saying. Be a bit skeptical if you want. But again, I'm saying this because I think it's going to be true. One of the things is, that I think will be true, is there will be more Viz and Gran Turismo's coming to GT Sport. Because... Look at a lot of the stuff that's came to fruition. The Mercedes Viz and Gran Turismo became the Batmobile. The Toyota Viz and Gran Turismo became the Supra, which is now officially getting made. There's actually one going to charity and stuff for the first one happening. And I think there were quite a few more that I can't think of off the top of my head. I think maybe there was like a... Uh, I can't remember. Y'all can leave it in the comments of Viz and Gran Turismo. Oh yeah, the Bugatti one, duh. The Bugatti Viz and Gran Turismo was basically a cheer on. Just without the major crazy wing thing, and it got its own major crazy wing when it was made. There's a whole heck of a Viz and Gran Turismo that actually happened. But a Viz and Gran Turismo that may not happen, or it actually may very well, is the Ford Viz and Gran Turismo that can actually be seen on Gran Turismo 6 itself, which is one of the reasons I saw a picture of it because, well, I'm on my PS4 here, kind of, sort of, by default. Because I'm selling GT Sport stuff. And I was able to take a picture of it. That only works with PS4. GT6 or PS3, and dead. So, yeah, you can see it on GT6, but to pretty much reference it, it's basically an old-looking hot rod type thing. Ford, as we know, ain't making as many cars as they used to. That's not just being biased towards... Dodge fanboy, that's just a fact. You can look at it however you want, but I will say this. Ford and Gran Turismo has been together for a long time. Viz and Gran Turismo, and well, Gran Turismo has been around for quite a while now, too. Wouldn't it be a good idea for them two to combine? If Ford can't make a car in real life, at least they can still stay popular in a popular... Popular... Eh... Popular is probably the wrong word compared to its previous. But a relevant, uh, well, I'll just say a game that's bigger than its competition, because right now that is technically true. Wouldn't Ford rather go into advertising a game that's still bigger than its competition while they still can? I would think so. But on the other hand, as I previously said, a lot of the Vision Grand Tourism ones actually got made. Or are looking like they may end up getting made. Like the Nissan GTR one. That will probably happen in some way, shape, or form. Would a Ford Roadster happen in real life? I really don't think so. Because it's not 1932 anymore. But. Something that 
when it happened, sounded a little bit more skeptical than now, but it is now looking like, who knows, it is something that happened way back when in 2004 that may as well be a Vizen Gran Turismo, aka it was in GT4, and, well, it's open wheel, kind of like that Roadster was that was sold in GT6, can y'all guess what it is yet? Well, I'll just say, there's a point in time in which people probably wanted to burn it, and by now y'all probably guessed it. Yes, it's the Nike 2022. Now y'all may be thinking there's no way whatsoever that would ever be made in real life. And I sort of kind of agree. But I would say there's a better chance of it being made now, or in 2022, than it was in 2004. Because Apple is making stuff now involving cars. There's a whole heck of a heap of one-off cars being made from a lot of stuff now. And, I'll put it this way as well. If y'all are actually thinking that something could be made in a mass production of a crazy wild idea, and we have presets of what's kind of already been made in that sense, like Apple's actually trying to make their thing in mass production, Apple likes to appeal to a whole heck of a heap of Americans. What's another big company that likes to appeal to a whole heck of a heap of Americans? Nike. They're not that huge overseas, but they're arguably the biggest of their competition here in America. So, where would they go to try to make a... profit? A Japanese-made game. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, but... Again, I said previously as well, GT's bigger than their competition, so they would go here. Because Nike wants to be bigger than their competition. So basically what I'm saying is, could there be another Nike Vision Grand Turismo in the future? I could see it, yes. Given that it's not 2019 next year, 2022 is so within thinking distance, sort of, kind of. Yes. Now on to other things that would make sense to be in. More tracks. What more tracks could we get? Where there's not even exactly confirmed, but there are Formula E's confirmed. Formula E tracks. A lot of those are just street circuits, honestly, so those would make a good amount of sense. Because I wouldn't think you could necessarily copyright a street. I say this because Grand Turismo has never had the official Monaco circuit. They've just had a pretty much exact replica that was basically the Monaco circuit. Why couldn't they do that with any street circuit? Well, as far as I know, they could. I see no reason why they couldn't. So even if we don't get the exact Formula E circuits, could we get a whole heck of a heap of almost exact replicas of them? Yes, I could see that very well in the future. Another thing that I could see very well in the future is, speaking of tracks, the actual Monaco track. We went to Monaco for the GT World Championships. Why wouldn't we get their track? I really see no reason why we wouldn't get their track. We already have an official Formula 1 in the game. Why wouldn't we get official Formula 1 track when we went to the official Formula 1 place? We went to Monaco. So yeah, we may get that actual track. And then we may get some Formula E replicas. Or who knows, maybe we get lucky and get their actual tracks too. But finally, I mentioned some Vizen Gran Turismo cars. I mentioned some tracks. The final thing that I'm going to mention is just overall features. I I put this in the previous video too, about the future of Gran Turismo in general, of getting like the teams and stuff. But something that I feel like we might honestly end up getting real and truly is just mics. Mics and lobbies. Mics in this general online. Hopefully not sport mode, but... Kaz said that he doesn't want mics in GT Sport, but he also said there wouldn't be microtransactions and all that. Honestly, at this point, I know I've said that a whole heck of a heap of the reasons that it seems like it's going that there's the microtransactions and stuff added is purposely trying to get people kind of a negative view of GT Sport to start looking at the positives of future games and just kind of forget about this one and move on, like they've done in the past too. Well, you still want people playing it a little bit and enjoying whatever experience they can get out of it just so they don't leave a completely dirty taste in their mouth and don't want to come back at all. What way could they do that? Well, 
even though there's not a whole heck of a heap of content there, make whatever content is there the most enjoyable that can be. Which would be allowing their friends to talk to each other. That makes logical sense. Yes, I know there's PS4 parties and all that too, but I mean, Jiminy Cricket, they have eight people in the parties. Rooms can go to 16 people. That's obsolete. And it's just easier for someone to join a room and immediately talk than it is for someone to just go into a room, have to join that party, and then you actually have to type out if you want to join the party, and then the other person has to type back and or invite the other person in. It just makes logical sense to have mics, and it's pretty obvious they can do it. They've been doing it since GT5, maybe even GT5 Prologue. I know for a fact GT5 had mics, but still, that's eight plus years now. They can do it, and I think they may, because it just makes logical sense. Granted, overall to me, it would have made logical sense for them to have it at the very beginning of GT Sport, but whatever. That would be a nice addition to a whole heck of a heap of people want. That I don't think would be too hard to implement, because it's not a truly new feature. I don't think an update like that would even be too big, really. And there would be no copyright loopholes to jump through to try to get stuff. That would be something that they could add for virtually free that would help the majority of people. Granted, something they could add that may add to the update size a little bit is a way to actually toggle mic on and off for the person and like that heads up display or something while you're on track. That may be a bit harder to implement, but even just a basic implementation of mics would be better than nothing. So, ultimately, that's my video for now. The future of GT Sport. Some stuff we have confirmed. Some stuff is thanking Lason. But overall, I think all this could very well happen. In order of stuff that I think truly will happen to stuff that probably would happen. Will be, well, this first, because it's downright confirmed. This, because it pretty much is confirmed. Future Gran Turismo's are basically pretty much confirmed. Specifics being Nike and Ford are a bit less, but Future Gran Turismo's in general, yes. And then the ones I would say are about 50% would be the actual Monaco track and then replica Formula E tracks. And then mics are... It's hard to really give an exact percent on that, really, because it's 100% that it could be done. Like, there's nothing in the way of them doing it. It's just if they actually do it. So anyway, I mean, there's the video. Hope you all enjoyed this look at stuff of the future of Gran Turismo Sport. And the previous video looking more at the future of GT in general. And I'll say this. As much as I've given negatives to GT Sport, at least they're still adding stuff. Yes, I believe a lot of the stuff I kind of expected to be added. But, I mean, stuff like... This, I don't even really think was ever considered when GT Sport was coming out. GT is generally not all that up to date with open wheel stuff. I mean, for Jiminy Cricket 6, GT 6 had a 2010 and a 2007 formula car. Granted, GT 5 had the same thing. But, ultimately, more events that did not they were ran were ran in their one from like 2001 that was in GT 3. But we're getting this. We didn't expect that, so who knows what could happen in the future in terms of stuff that we didn't expect at all. But we can have a general inclination, inkling, whatever, however that's worded, on stuff that can happen almost for sure. There may be weird and wonderful stuff we didn't expect to happen, but there's some cool stuff that we can definitely expect to happen to come, and that's most definitely worth a yee-haw.